100 foods to eat before you die. I've been traveling and eating all around the world and here are the 100 foods you need to eat before you die. And these are in no particular order, so add them to your food bucket list. Number 65, Singapore chili and pepper crab. In regards to where to go to get the best tasting Singapore chili crab and black pepper crab, most of the suggestions I got were two places. One is Jumbo Seafood and the other is Long Beach Seafood. And supposedly at Long Beach Seafood, the chili crab is a bit on the spicier side and also they claim to be the creator of the black pepper crab. So today I traveled to the popular East Coast Park, beautiful area by the way, and I'm at the Long Beach EDMC. Of course, I, I can't just walk away with one crab, so I'm gonna try their chili crab and their black pepper crab. And like I mentioned before, this is breakfast for me. And if you think having two large spicy crabs for breakfast may be a little too much, then I don't know if we can be friends. The first thing that came to the table is a popular veggie dish called Samba Gong Gong. And the Samba is a very popular Malay sauce. And in the sauce, I see a lot of garlic. I think this is in Chinese Kong Xin Cai, which translates to empty inside veggies. Looks like this thing is really sauced up. Oh, that's awesome. The sauce is spicy, it's garlicky, a little bit sweet. Wow, here we go. Chili crab is here. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, now I'm dressed for battle. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at this crab like I'm seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time, just admiring its beauty and majesticness. This crab mountain, I'm gonna call it, it is surrounded by a molt of garlic chili sauce. I'm gonna try a little bit of the sauce first. No, I was like, I'm sorry, I just gotta, just gotta give it a hug. It's like I've been hearing about a beautiful person um, that my friends been introducing me to, and we just met for the first time. That does call for a hug, so here we go. Oh, so many flavors, so little time. Let's just dig in. Oh, dude. Woo. I feel like they really should give you gloves for this because there's really no way to be civil here. I'm just gonna pretend I'm King Kong eating this giant sea monster. <laughs> that massive claw. Submerge that in this garlic chili sauce. Use it like a spoon. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my God, this crab's awesome. I'm gonna call that the Singapore chili crab bite of love because that was just really emotional for me. I gotta do this again, sorry. I'm gonna re dip. There we go. I can't even control myself. You know when you love something, you feel yourself kind of just lose control and then the whole world just seems to fade away and all that's left is you and the crab. And I'm kind of sorry you have to see me like this, but this is what food love is. Let me just try to explain what's happening here besides, besides the crazy love affair. They told me this is Sri Lankan crab. The crab itself, it's just so sweet. If there was such thing as a crab lollipop, that would be it. The meat is so succulent and tender. You can tell how fresh it is. And when you bite it, it just kind of cradles your tongue gently and sings you this just delicious crabby lullaby. And the sauce, it's spicy, it's garlicky, it's a little sweet, and it's got an element of creaminess to it. Although the crab on its own is already so good, just adding the sauce, it really adds a lot of dimension to this crab because the crab meat itself is sweet. I think I would have liked it if the sauce was a little less sweet, maybe a little more garlicky, spicy flavor because again, like the crab meat itself is already pretty sweet, but I got no complaints. This is masterful. Like I'm literally licking the sauce up. The joint meat, that's one of my favorites. And I love this way of eating. It's unfiltered, a little animalistic. It's eating at its most primal form. And when it comes to crab, that's the only way to eat. Dig into the crab organs a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's the good stuff. Wow, that was like the essence of the crab right there, along with some garlic and spicy sauce. And they also serve you a little little fried bun with the crab. And I think this is this is just meant for the sauce. Let's, let's dig from inside this crab here. Oh. This is a perfect dipping vessel. The manzo itself really doesn't have much flavor, so and it completely just soaks up all this beautiful sauce. This is better than any chips and dip you'll ever have. Oh wait guys, guess who's here? The chili crab's best friend. Black pepper crab. Just look at it, I feel like this crab committed a crime and someone just tarred it. But it looks and smells absolutely delicious. Let's me and you get a little familiar with each other. Wow, look at this beautiful meat. Whoa, just from that finger lick, I think my life changed a little bit. That was one of the most delicious finger licks of my life. Oh my God, thank you for appearing in my life. The emotions, the sentiment, the love, everything I felt for the chili crab, I felt way more about the black pepper crab. I mean, certain times in life you find that perfect food item that just kind of completes you on a certain level, and this is it. The crab, just like the last one, super tender, succulent, sweet, 
but oh my God, that sauce. This is one of the best seafood sauces I've ever had. And combine that with this crab, this might be one of the best seafood items I've ever had. This is so incredibly peppery, spicy, smoky. And that really balances out the really tender, sweet, succulent crab meats. This is what balance and perfection looks like manifested in this universe. The black pepper sauce and this crab together, it, it, it's like a Rachel and Ross sort of love. Trust me guys, this will complete your life a little bit. I, I kid you not. Look at this beautiful claw. Almost perfect crab lollipop. Yeah, let's just, let's just rub some of this sauce on here. Crab is literally so sweet. Mm, and that black pepper sauce. Oh my God. I wish they brought me more sauce so I can just like, I just dip this crab in there. All right guys, don't think less of me because if you were here, you'd do the same thing. I will literally travel back to Singapore just to eat this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say this is the best crab I ever had in my life. Without a doubt, that was a life-altering meal. And I consider life-altering meals where you would actually make time for, or go out of your way to go somewhere to eat that particular meal. And this, this is definitely that. The chili crab was great, but that black pepper crab, it was just mind-blowing. Like, you guys remember that pepper crab I had in the Bay Area? Can I even compare? So I would definitely recommend, if you guys ever come to Singapore and you love crab, come here to have your taste buds and your mind blown. Now, here's the thing. I know once I post this video, a lot of people are gonna be like, you know what? Jumbo seafood is so much better. Their chili crab is so much better. You should have went over there. I know that's gonna happen. And truth be told, I would be kind of wondering the same. So since Jumbo seafood is literally right next to this restaurant, Let's go. Let's go have another chili crab. Here I am at Jumbo Seafood, arguably um, the most popular place in Singapore to go for chili crab. And they've even proclaimed that their chili crab is the best in Singapore. So I'm not gonna get another chili crab and another black pepper crab. So let's just see how the chili crab compares between Long Beach and Jumbo. Thank you. I feel like a baby, everyone helps me put on, put on the bib. Ready to go. Since I was having such a crappy day, let's just keep it going. She's a beaut. Let's start with the claw again. And this is a monstrosity. I think this crab is way bigger than the crab I had on Long Beach. Whoa, and that just came right off. Look at the knuckles on this thing. This thing, I think, oh, it's kind of broke apart. I won't have my perfect claw. But this thing definitely works out, look at this. I mean, he definitely does some curls. There we go. Happy crab day. First of all, this is amazing as well. Crab itself, just as good as Long Beach. Succulent, tender, everything you want out of a delicious succulent crab. Mm. And I think the biggest difference between this and what I had at Long Beach is that the chili crab here is a whole lot less spicy. Also, it just seems more tomatoey. Also, the sauce is really sweet. I, I think there's ketchup in here. It's almost like this crab is soaked in the really popular Chinese tomatoes and egg dish. I know it's just a matter of personal preference, but I tend to like the chili crab better at Long Beach because I feel like it's just more spicy and more chili-esque. And this is a little more eggy, a little more sugary, a little more tomato-y. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still good. But I think if I had to choose, I like the one in Long Beach better. I mean, that might be because I'm partial to things that are more spicy. So yeah, if you like things more spicy, go to Long Beach. If you like things a little more tomato-y, a little more eggy, come to Jumbo's. But either way, I, I really don't think you can go wrong here. And I don't know how exactly the black pepper crabs stack up against each other between Jumbos and Long Beach, but right now, as it stands, my vote is with Long Beach. But I am glad I went to both institutions to try their chili crab. And you know what I always say, more crab is good crab. But guys, if you're from Singapore, let me know which place you think has the best chili crab. And if you've never had chili crab and black pepper crab before, you need that on your food bucket list. If you don't have a food bucket list, you need to make one. I mean, all it is is just like a piece of paper with some food items on there. And again, my personal preference, black pepper crab above all else. That is the king of the crab mountain right now. So if you're into seafood, you're in Singapore, that's what you gotta get. Besides the chili crab and the black pepper crab, there is another pepper crab that you gotta try. Last place I'm at, JB Ameng. And this place, one of two restaurants in Singapore that sells white pepper crab. So of course, Singapore is known for the chili crab, right? We have the chili crab with the black pepper crab, amazing. Never had a white pepper crab. White pepper is mainly used in Chinese cooking, so I'm expecting this is gonna be a little more Chinese flavors, but I have no idea. I'm so excited. Got three things. Um, stir fried clams. When you see the words garlic and clam, you order that. No thinking, just order it. And then they're famous for their JB San Lo 
me home. It's like a rice noodle. It's burnt or something. So this right here, it smells a little burnt. It's basically burnt meat and burnt rice noodles. Uh, I see some eggs. I think there's some uh, squid in here as well. I can't stop sniffing. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's, kinda like, it's almost like sniffing glue. You just kind of get addicted to it. So it's really not really burnt. I mean, it's slightly, slightly charred, but it's actually really tender. When you break through the surface, you see the middle. It's actually really, really soft, gentle noodles. So you can uh, add some chilies to it put some chili sauce with it, and kind of eat it like this. Mmm, this is so good. This is some of the greatest noodles I've had in Singapore. And I've had some great noodles in Singapore. Wow. Oh my god, because they're thin rice noodles, they soak up every ounce of flavor. We taste the seafood running, running, coursing through every single strand of noodles. You don't taste any of the burntness that you're smelling. I feel so bad for the other noodles I love in Singapore because I'm a multiple noodle lover. I can't, you know, I'm just like giving out my love to like noodles left and right. And sometimes that doesn't feel right. Just judge, just like love found. 10 out of 10 on those noodles. And look at these little babies. Little clams with garlic and scallions. Oh my god. Perfectly tender. And it's so fragrant and garlicky. Here's the best way to eat this. A little clam. Chase it with some noodles. Oh, no, that's complete. And finally, this is the white pepper crab. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely smell that white pepper on this thing. Starting with the joints. This is my favorite part of any crab. It's the most worked muscle and most tender part. All right, this crab tastes way more asian -y than like a chili crab or like a black pepper crab because the white pepper is something so used so much in Asian cooking. And as much white pepper as they used in here, and they used a lot, it really goes to highlight how sweet this crab is. Basically, when you're tasting the crab meat, you don't get like an overpowering flavor from the white pepper. You taste the succulent sweet crab meat, and then afterwards you're like, huh, my tongue is a little numb. And that's the white pepper, people. Basically, the flavor is not as powerful as the black pepper crab. It's more subtle, but it is more fragrant. I still like the black pepper crab better from my memories, from my experience, but still, this is phenomenal.